With Stripe Data Pipeline, you can sync your Stripe data to your data warehouse or cloud storage destination with ease, giving you streamlined and centralized access to all your Stripe data. There are many benefits of using Stripe Data Pipeline. First, it automates data delivery at scale, allowing you to offload maintenance to Stripe and avoid burdening your data engineering teams. Second, you can unlock powerful insights by centralizing your Stripe data with your other business data. You can access and analyze the complete Stripe schema, from charges and customers' tables to reporting data, like radar rules and subscription item change events, all in your existing analytics environment. This centralization enables your marketing, growth, and analytics teams to uncover valuable insights and can help make your financial close and bookkeeping more efficient and accurate. And finally, you can trust Stripe with the secure treatment of your data. This direct integration is built with security at its core because we understand the critical nature of your finance and revenue data. Let's take a look at the setup process. To set up Stripe Data Pipeline, you need admin permissions for both your Stripe dashboard account and your Redshift Warehouse account. First, in the left navigation under Reporting, you'll find Data Management. Click on the Try It For Free button, and then select Redshift as the data warehouse you would like to connect to. First, go to the AWS console and pull your account ID by going to the right-hand bar and copying your account ID. You can also view your region right next to your account name, in this case, US East 2. Go back to the Stripe dashboard and paste your account ID and select US East 2. Hit Next. On to the verification step. Back in the AWS console, go to Data Shares in the left navigation bar. Hit the From Other Accounts tab. Here, you will see a request from Stripe. Hit Associate. You can keep the read-only permissions and then hit Associate. Click on Create Database from Data Share. Name your database something with Stripe or Stripe Data Pipeline. In the left navigation bar, look for the Query Editor. Go back to the Stripe dashboard and copy the SQL block. Go back to the Query Editor in AWS and paste that query. Make sure it is being run on the right database. Hit Run. Copy the value provided and paste that back into the Stripe dashboard. Finally, hit Verify and Subscribe. It can take up to 12 hours for your data to load after signing up. After that, you can view hundreds of tables under Views. You can browse and query all of your Stripe data and reports directly in the Redshift worksheet view. Additionally, a helpful table is the Data Load Times table, which shows when each table was last loaded. for your data to load after signing up. After that, we've organized your data by run date. Within each run date, you have access to both live mode and test mode data. And within each of those directories, you can see your hundreds of Parquet files related to each table in our schema. We also have a JSON file called data load times, which allows you to see the load time by table.